Hey, boys and girls, it's time for the Mr. Bill Show. Hi, kiddies. It's really great to be here with you today. And I know we're going to have a real good time, so get ready for a raining show. I want to thank all these people who made it possible. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, boys and girls, we'd like you to come along with us while Mr. Bill goes E.E. -E. and I'm really excited about going to college. You know, your college years can be the best years of your life, and the education you receive can lead you into a very rewarding career doing what you want to do most. And what better place could there be to start than at the University of Akron? You know, the university offers a wide range of programs, and I'm sure to find the one that's just right for me. That's great, Mr. Bill. Let's go into Spicer and meet your counselor. He can help you decide which major you're looking for. Oh, hi. Mr. Counselor, hey, you can really help me a lot. You see, I've always had a strong desire to help people, and I've had a great deep appreciation for culture and the fine arts. I really think I'd like to pursue a liberal arts degree. Your counselor understands, Mr. Bill, but he says your ACT scores are too high in math and science. You'll have to go into electrical engineering. Oh, no, not electrical engineering. Here's your calculator. Oh, I don't really like math at all. And here's the books you'll need. No way, no! Oh. Hurry up, Mr. Bill, or you'll be late for your first class. This is Auburn Science Center. Most of your classes will be in here. It looks like a very nice building. I hope you brought your pencil, Mr. Bill, because it's time for a review quiz. A review quiz? How can it be a review? This is only the first day of class. Do the best you can, Mr. Bill. You should already know this material if you want to go into electrical engineering. But Mr. Hayes, I don't want to go into electrical engineering. I'm afraid it's too late now, Mr. Bill. Here, I'll help you with this quiz. You simply take the cofactor of this transverse matrix to determine the hyperbolic varying cosine and, well, here, I made a mistake. I'll have to fix oh, it. Oh, no, no, not with me, Mr. Hayes. Oh, 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 look at the oh. Whoops, our time is up. Looks like you'll have to do some more studying if you expect to do better in the next quiz. I don't want any more quizzes. Can't we just go home? Not yet, Mr. Bill. We'd better go into Auburn Library and crack the old books. It looks pretty crowded, Mr. Hands. I don't think there's any place left to study. Nonsense, Mr. Bill. You can sit right here in the aisle. But, Mr. Hands, there's a lot of people to walk through here. They may not see me. Oh, no, here comes someone. Oh, oh. I guess you were right, Mr. Bill. Let's go over to Bierce Library. There's a lot more room over there. We'll just cross Bookdale Avenue. Mr. Hands, shouldn't we look both ways first? Don't be silly, Mr. Bill. This is a one-way street. Oh, yeah? We better tell our folks why you're not. It's going to run me over. Oh, no, look out. Oh, please, stop. Oh, no. I'm going to get squished. Oh, no. You look tired, Mr. Bill. You've really been letting yourself get run down, and we have to get you ready for measurements lab. Your assignment this week is to take a reading behind the high voltage panel. But Mr. Hands is very dangerous with the power on. Oh no, look out! Oh, oh. Very good, Mr. Bill. Now with your experience, you're ready for machines lab. Machines are a very important part of electrical engineering, and it's important that you know how to control them. Meet your lab partner, Mr. Sluggo. Oh no, not Sluggo, he's always mean to me. Don't worry, Mr. Bill. Sluggo says he's gonna let you wire up the machine while he supervises. There's so many wires, where do they all go? Oh no, don't tighten it, oh no, oh, 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 oh. Sluggo has inspected your work and says it's okay to turn on the power. But Professor Grumbo hasn't looked at it yet. You better wait, Sluggo. Too late, Mr. Bill. Sluggo has already applied the power. Whoops. Looks like you've smoked your watt meter. You'd better rewire your circuit, Mr. Bill. Here, hold these wires while Sluggo looks for the problem. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Pull yourself together, Mr. Bill. It's time for the prony brake test. Oh, what's wrong, Mr. Bill? Well... Maybe this will cheer you up. You've got a visitor. Here comes Mr. Bill's dog. Oh, hi, Spot. Boy, am I happy to see you. 
Yes, and so is Sluggo. Look, he even has a treat for him. Go get it, boy. Oh no, it landed on the pony break. Oh no, Spot, get off of that, you'll get hurt. Don't worry, Mr. Bill. Sluggo has thought of a way to get Spot off of there real fast. Oh no, my poor dog, don't get off of there, Spot, oh no! Well, doggone, Mr. Bill. You've got to check the rotation of this machine. I know you've had a hard day, but you still have to study for your measurements test. Here, have some hot coffee to keep yourself alert. There, you look wider awake already, and just in time for your co-op interview. Co-op? I don't even know if I want a co-op. Well, talk to Professor Burbridge. He'll make up your mind for you. Why, he says he has the perfect job for you, and he'd like you to join him in a cigar. I don't see any cigars. Here, he'll roll you one. Oh, no, now it's bad, my poor dog. Oh, no, now it's bad. Oh, look at him. Oh. Here you go, and now for the good news. You get to interview with the National Security Agency. Meet Deputy Sluggo. He'll be performing your polygraph test. Just interview at Ohio Edison or something? Now, Mr. Bill, this could be an excellent opportunity for you. Deputy Sluggo just wants you to answer a few very personal questions to determine your eligibility to work on highly classified projects. So Mr. Sluggo would like to know if you've ever lied to your mother. No, I don't think so. At least I can't remember. Have you ever participated in any organization attempting to overthrow the government of the United States? No, no, never. Please stop. Do you enjoy reading Doonesbury comic strips? No, no, not me. Oh, please. I'm afraid you failed your polygraph test, Mr. Bill. Better luck next time. Ooh. Oh, you're back. I'm sorry, but you've missed all the co-op jobs. However, you're back just in time for T-Line's lab. Professor Colt needs your help to demonstrate wave propagation. What do I have to do? Well, you're going to be a quarter wave transformer. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure I'm going to get hurt. Just grab these two rods while we propagate a wave. Propagate a what? OK, Mr. Bill, hang on. Oh, no, I can't hang on to my hands. Oh, no, oh, 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 oh. Very good, Mr. Bill. Now, you'd better finish working on your PCAP so you can turn in your lab notebook on time. Hmm, the hopper's missing. Well, you'll have to wait down the cards yourself. But what happens when I get to the last card? Oh, no! Oh, no! I can see you really get into computers, Mr. Bill. You might just get to like electrical engineering yet. Here's my lab notebook. It's not very big, but it's very well written. Well, we'll have to see how it does on Professor Colt's grading scale. Uh-oh. Too bad. You're going to have to take this back for a rewrite. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! You've got one more lab, Mr. Bill. Let's take the elevator up to the fifth floor. I just as soon take the stairs, Mr. Hands. I don't like elevators. Oh, look out! Oh, my body! Oh. Mr. Bill, meet your switching and logic lab instructor, Dr. Samurai Fripfrop. He seems very nice. Oh, he is, Mr. Bill. In fact, he's even going to demonstrate today's experiment for you. Oh, thank you, Dr. Fripfrop. On your dog, Spot. On Spot? What do you mean? What is today's experiment? A divide by five network. First, we will demonstrate asynchronous divide by five. Oh, no, Spot! Oh, look at him! Oh, poor Spot! Oh! Don't worry, Mr. Bill. Look, we can make them just like new. Oh, thank you, Mr. Hands. So that we can demonstrate synchronous divide by five. Oh no, not again! Not in poor spot! Oh no, spot! Look out! Oh, look at my poor dog! Oh, spot! Oh, look at him! Don't worry about spot now, Mr. Bill. It's time for your first switching a logic test. Boy, I study really hard for this test. I think I can do any problem. That doesn't matter, Mr. Bill. You're going to have to turn around for this test. Turn around? What for? 
for this. Oh no, I don't deserve to get screwed already. Please stop, Mr. Hands. Don't do that. No, no. Oh, 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 oh. Stop it, Mr. Hands. Oh, 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 oh. Better get used to it, Mr. Bill. Wait till you see the next test. Oh no, please stop. Oh. Well, Mr. Bill, it's time for your first plant trip. And guess where you're going? To the Plato Fun Factory. Why not, Mr. Bill? They're paying all your expenses. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, no, please, I don't want to grin. Oh, no, don't push Mr. Hands. Oh, 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 Whoops, wait a minute, there's been a mistake. You're a third of a credit hour short. Oh no, how did that happen? Oh well, don't despair. Goodyear Aerospace says you can work for them now while you go to summer school to finish your degree. Oh gee, that's great, but what do I have to do? You're in charge of holding down the blimp. But I can't, I'm much too late. Oh no, it's getting on the hole, I'm afraid of heights, please stop. So long, Mr. Bill, and goodbye, boys and girls.